All right, this screencast is about how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons from an atom, an isotope, and an ion. Okay, so to review, the atomic number is, um, the atoms of different elements have different numbers of protons, but we know that the number of protons define what element we're looking for, and so every time you pick up copper, it's going to have the same number of protons, and therefore the same atomic number. The atomic number is a number of um protons in any particular element. Sometimes it's referenced with the letter Z. In this graphic you can see that oxygen has eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons. So its atomic number would be eight. Isotopes are when you have an atom of the same element that has a different mass. And this happens because you happen to have different number of neutrons. So protons can't change because if you change the protons you have a different element. But if you have a different number of neutrons in your um, in your substance then you have what's called an isotope. And isotopes will have a different mass because they have different number of neutrons. Most of the elements consist of mixtures of isotopes, and that leads you to an average atomic mass, which we'll get into in a later screencast. The mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus of an isotope. For the periodic table and for when we're calculating the number of protons and neutrons, we're going to round the mass from the periodic table to a whole number. And um, the periodic table will list a mass that is an average of all the isotopes. So we're going to round it to the nearest whole number and that will tell us how many protons and neutrons are in the mass and therefore also we'll be able to determine the number of electrons. So back to this graphic again, you can see the oxygen atom. Now it has eight protons and it's listed as having eight neutrons in this version. So that means that our um, mass is going to be the 8 plus 8, so 16. You can see reported in the green box that it's 15.9994. What you would do is you'd round the 15.9994 to 16 and that's your average, or I'm sorry, that's your atomic mass for um, this isotope. Okay. So a couple of ways that you can indicate that you are dealing with an isotope. You can have hyphen notation or you can have the nuclear symbol. Hyphen notation is when the mass number is written with a hyphen after the name of the element. So in this case you have uranium-235. That's telling me that my um, atom that I'm dealing with is one of the isotopes. It has a mass of 235. Now the nuclear symbol below is uh, where you have a superscript that indicates the mass and a subscript that indicates the atomic number. So this is the same isotope, uranium-235, and it's telling me that uranium naturally has 92 protons. So given that information of the 235 over 92, I can figure out the neutrons really quickly by subtracting them. The number of neutrons is found by subtracting the atomic number from the mass number. So if we're dealing with the uranium-235 as we were in the previous screen, you take 235, which is a mixture of both the protons and neutrons, and you're going to subtract the atomic number, which is the number of protons. So we're taking 235 minus 92, and that'll leave us with the number of neutrons. So in this case, 143. So here's a sample problem. How many protons, electrons, and neutrons are there in an atom of chlorine 37? So they're telling us that it is an atom that has a mass of 37 and it's chlorine. So chlorine by nature has a specific number of protons. Anytime we pick up chlorine, it'll always have the same number of protons. You can check the periodic table to find Cl and that will tell you the atomic number and it is 17. Now, I don't see any kind of charge listed on my chlorine 37 there, so that means that the protons and the electrons are equal. So my electrons will be 17 as well. Now to determine the number of neutrons, I have a mass there, 37, so I'm going to take my mass minus my protons and that will leave me with my neutrons. So I have 20 neutrons in that particular ion, I'm sorry, in that particular isotope. Ions are when you have a different number of protons and electrons. So in ions, the atomic number tells you the element and the number of protons. And then um, you're going to have either more electrons or less electrons forming um, an ion. And you will have either a positive charge or a negative charge depending on whether you've gained or lost electrons. The charges will be written in a superscript. 
they can be written as, in this case, s minus 2 or s2 minus. Either way is fine. You do need the 2 to indicate the multitude or the magnitude of the charge, and the minus tells you whether you've gained or lost electrons. So in this case, we have two more electrons, because electrons are negative, so we have two more electrons than protons. If you were looking at Al plus 3, or Al3 plus, either way, um, this is telling me that I have three less electrons than protons. So once I can determine the number of protons, then I can figure out the number of electrons. Here's a way to remember the two different types of ions. You can have a cation or an anion. Now the cation in cartoons, cats, get clobbered with the hammer, think Tom and Jerry, and when they die they get little X's in their eyes. And that, if you turn an X on its side, it, it is positive. So the cation has a positive charge and the anion has a negative charge. By becoming positively charged, we have less electrons than a regular atom in the cation, and we have gained electrons in the anion. Now, gained or lost electrons form ions. Electrons have negative charges, so you're gaining or losing negative things. Here's two examples. If we're dealing with Fe plus 2, so the plus 2 tells me that I have two less electrons, so that is an atom that lost two electrons, and then the N minus 3 is telling me that I have gained three electrons. Okay, so hopefully that will help you understand the differences between ions, isotopes, and atoms, and how to calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons.